Right folks, it's the 10th of September 2022. On the 8th of September, at half past six in the evening, my 25th cousin, twice removed, passed away. She's connected to me via Matilda of Huntington and David I of Scotland. And we all share, me and her, share a lot of the Scottish kings. This is just one route to her. There are more than one, but I'm just doing this one from Matilda of Huntington. And that 25th cousin, twice removed, is Queen Elizabeth II. Now, people can think this is far-fetched, delusions of grandeur, or anything else they like, because that's what people do. They, they find it unbelievable. But it's not when you tra track the actual records back. The royal family have done a lot themselves. They took me back. I took, I, I did a lot myself, but their actual tree also helped me go back. Um, so it's it's been verified by them. So basically, she passed away at half past six in the evening. She'd gone to Balmoral in Scotland. There's been a lot going on in British government. Um, Boris Johnson was more was forced to resign, and uh, Liz, you know, I can't remember her name at the moment. It'll come to me though. But this uh, woman called Liz, because um, she's so new in my mind, I, I can't even remember her second name at the moment. But she's all over the place now. She's at all the main events, all the special royal events that have been going on over the last two days because Prince Charles has now become King Charles III um, and they did special pageantry this morning heraldry they did very special <sighs> honours for him today to officially say that he was king. It's not the crowning, but anyway. Basically, um, there's been a lot of going, coming and going in, in Parliament. Liz Truss, that's her name. She has uh, now become Prime Minister. She was elected in. So she's been attending all the main events. The last day, just been there, the day before Queen Elizabeth died, Liz Truss had to go and introduce herself to the Queen up in Scotland. And she was one of the last people, public people, to, to see the Queen then. Now, Boris Johnson had been before to hand in his handing over of the Premiership, of the um, pe uh, Prime Ministership, he'd already been. Obviously, the uh, royal family, like Prince Charles, who's now King William, uh, King Charles III, he was up in Balmoral with Camilla, who's now Consort Queen. There was a big rush. I think it looked unexpected, or it was made to look unexpected, when all the royals, all her children, rushed, and some of the grandchildren rushed to Scotland. The news presenters, even before she died, were wearing black. Black, black suits, black dresses, black ties. <sighs> And I saw her shake the hand of this truss on telly and she, obviously she does look frail, she's looked frail for flipping ages. I, it, we never, it, it seemed to be a surprise to everyone that she was she's going to die, just like that. It was a sort of sudden death, if you know what I mean. She hadn't been in bed with pneumonia or anything. <sighs> So anyway, 
I'm doing this little video. Um, I've got already got loads and loads of history pictures of the Queen over the last 70 years. I've been building them up on her profile page on my tree for a long time. I've now got to enter some new information about Prince Charles, who's now King William, King Charles III. Also, titles have changed for Prince William. He's now the Prince of Wales and the Duke of Cornwall. And Kate, his wife, is now also, she's taken Lady Diana's title of Princess of Wales. Um, so they've got new roles to play and they've got to take over a lot of the functions that Charles was doing, which he now has to hand over because he's got other, a lot more other very pressing issues to deal with as the monarch of the country, head of the state, head of the Commonwealth and lots of other outlying places. Um, the Queen died at Balmoral. Prince King William, I still want to call him Prince Charles and everyone still wants to say God save the Queen when it's now God save the King of course. But he stayed overnight, I think some of them did stay overnight when, after she passed. It must have been a terrible moment and he did look shaken, Prince Charles. It, I'm going to still call him Prince Charles, I know it'll, but it's going to be really hard to call him King William, really really hard. Anyway, the Queen is lying up in St Giles Church in Edinburgh. I don't know how long she's staying there for, but she will be transferred down to London. I can't remember which church she'll be lying in. I don't think she's going to Windsor straight away. She'll be going to Windsor for her burial, along with Duke of Edinburgh. But, um... She's lying in state for four or five days and people can go and see her. You can, you'll be able to file past the coffin. It, she, they won't show her what it'll be. it would just be the coffin draped and have guards like they normally do. Like statues guarding the coffin. Um, her whole funeral events will be different to the Duke of Edinburgh, which were very low key because we were right in the peak of COVID at the time. In a way, she's timed her death quite well because we've got winter coming. And I think personally, I think she might have had a hand in capping the energy bill for all of us. Uh, it's, I mean, two and a half grand is still a lot for ordinary people though. To be quite honest, it, you've got people on 120,000 a year paying the same as somebody on living in a bed set. You know, it, it, it's very wrong, really, how they do it. Um, but we're still going to get the winter warm help because it was promised, and they're not going to withdraw that. So anyway, I did feel a bit sad and. Um, well, she, I'm 70. I've never known anyone but the Queen. Um, about 10 days after I was born, King George died. 10 days after I was a small baby when he died. And um, not only that, there was that, no, the smog wasn't until December. No, he died before the smog. But London often had smogs. It wasn't a new thing. But the 1952 smog was particularly bad. Killed thousands. Anyway, so <clears throat> she became queen right away. So when I was a 10 day old baby, Queen Elizabeth was queen. At 20, she was 25 or 26. And you have to wait. There's quite a long wait really before the coronation. They reckon they're going to speed Charles's up though. Maybe he ain't well, if you know what I mean. He didn't look too good. He looked very high blood pressure-y looking, even diabetic. He, he has those sort of signals. 
but I don't expect he is, but he just looks very, very, well, he don't look good. He's so flushed all the time. Apart from that, I think he lives a healthy life, really, so he's probably all right. So I've known Queen Elizabeth all my life. Every single decade of my life. Everything we ever did at school. Um, the visits all of her all around the country. She'd been to Western Supermare several times. <sighs> um, I think it had a soft spot for her. And I got a feeling that her and Duke of Edinburgh had actually stayed in Western Supermare at some point during the war. I'm not sure about that though, but I know they had a soft spot for it. And whenever she visited, money was always given to do up a hotel or to give some money to the poor, to give them a community centre or something. Yeah, I will go on the Royal Family Tree site and offer my condolences as well. And like I said, when the first thing that hit me when she died was the thoughts of my mum. Because although my mum was a socialist, she was actually a royalist as well. It, it, it can happen. You can have conflicting feelings. Um, I do, because I've got my rich family tree. But I've also... Which way you want to go, Cheryl? Down there? Yeah, go on then. I've also... <coughs> got my political views for equality and emancipation and all that I mean we've been so lucky having a woman as head of our country really I think it's helped liberate a lot of things it dragged us out of that terrible 50s repressive thing especially towards women I just hope I think Charles will be all right though and William that they, they have um, evolved with the changes. So I'm not too worried that William and Charles are going to suddenly clamp down on women, you know. I don't feel that's going to happen. And I think she helped that, you know, help liberate men, really. Um, but it still goes on misogyny, of course. It's difficult to get it out when there's thousands and thousands of years of it. Um, and I expect even thousands and thousands of years ago, there were enlightened periods where women were equal. I reckon so. They said the Sax, some of the Saxon tribes were very equal, or, or even the uh, Iron Age. They had to be to survive, I think. Women had to be strong physically as well. You know what I mean? Like we are now. We redirect our energy into sports. Right, I'm just going to pop up here because I know where that bit goes and I'd rather go across here. So Queen Elizabeth has died. Um, I feel sad about it. But she got to 96. My gran lived to nearly 101 apart from a month. She had a telegram and a card from the Queen. And if she'd hung on for another month, she would have got another one. And my, my gran was a tough old bird who lived in the East End. And lived through both blitzes. Lived through both war, world wars. Strong. And she only died because she fell off a ladder putting her curtains up. She didn't die. She got pneumonia. She broke her hip when she fell. So, like I said about the tree, people, they, 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 they laugh, they think it's funny when I tell them the connection they, but what they've got to realise, they've probably got connections of their own. But you have to find the window, the door that opens up, the person who's the gatekeeper to your past. As soon as you have found a really good gatekeeper, you will make your connections. 
the population of England was not, and Scotland was very, very small back a thousand years ago. The possibility of being connected is high. It's very, very high. And, well, I've just found the links in my tree. I didn't mean to go back about 300 years, even less than that, to come across the Stutvilles. And quite an unusual name, but with a big history. With a big history, folks. I'm going to go down here, actually. I just cut that corner up. I'm going to get over here if I can. I don't know if they've cut it off, though. They do, they do try and do that. Stop you going there. I'll have to go up a bit higher. I might be able to turn here. So, I don't broadcast it very much because people laugh. And I, I've, I, I'm sorry, but I've done 25 to 30 years of research. And we've got more than one connection to them. That's just one particular route because the royal family of Europe married into each other all the time. It was common and it's known. So I've got other links. But the one I'm sharing now is because one of my massive gatekeepers is Matilda of Huntingdon. And uh, all her family, Matildas, are well known because she's the great niece of William the Conqueror. So I share all that. But Matilda is a great great grandmother of the Queen, just like she's mine. Anyway, I'm talking about all this again. It does bring it all up when I'm out. You can believe it or not, but you go and do the 25 years work of research. Like I said, the royal family have done their own tree. They've already done a lot for me. Um, I verify it, of course. I verify what they've done. Because history can be rewritten, you know. And uh, We've got some very, very important people in the tree. The Peshes, the Stutfills, the Declares. These are people in my tree that are of huge significance. And I've got people in my tree that the Queen hasn't got, but she might have, depending which connection she's got with it. But uh, I'm proud of my tree. I'm not living in a palace. Yeah, that'll never happen. Um, it's too far. People are saying, oh, that's 25 generations separating you. Yeah, fair enough. Of course it is. But it's still an important connection, which I have found. What's that? Uh, that would have been a nice little bottle, you know, there, look. See that? That could have been a little wink pot. Oh, it's quite pretty actually. It's got like um. I'll keep that. I'm going to put this in my bag. Because it's got some flowers on it. I don't know if there's any more there, isn't it? Sheila the archaeologist. There'll be loads of stuff, you know, in in there somewhere. A bit more there. Yeah. I'm just going to turn off a minute. 